Good day all. I bring you greetings in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. I want to continue the message we started on Sunday when there's a shaking. First of all, can we just read Haggai 2, 6-9 from the Amplified Version of the Bible. For thus says the Lord of hosts, yet once more in a little while, I will shake and make terrible the starry heavens, the earth, the sea, and the dry land. And I will shake all the nations, and the desire and the precious things of all nations shall come in. And I will fill this house with splendor, says the Lord of hosts. The silver is mine, the gold is mine, says the Lord of hosts. The latter glory of this house with its successor to which Jesus came shall be greater than the former, says the Lord of hosts. And in this place will I give peace and prosperity, says the Lord of hosts. Haggai 2, 6-9 Holy Spirit, thank you, thank you, thank you. Holy Spirit, thank you, thank you, thank you. Precious Holy Spirit, as we go into your word, let the impact divinely ordained from the foundation of the earth be the benefit of all of us as we go through your word let this shaking profit us glorify yourself use me magnify your word above your name let only your name be exalted in jesus name we pray the first thing i want us to notice that when there's a shaking obstacles are about to go that's according to joshua 6 20 when the walls of jericho fell to an obstacle and because the obstacle when destinies were fulfilled in this season of shaking obstacles before you will fall and your destiny will be fulfilled in jesus name number two according to acts chapter 2 verse 1 to 4 when there's a shaking power is about to be transferred science defines power as the ability to do work somebody is going to get more power so he or she can do more work there's a power we need in life power we need in ministry power we need in career power we need in business generally we need power so we can go higher in this season of shaking somebody is going to get power to go higher in jesus name the third and the last which i like to spend a bit of time on is that when there's a shaking according to Haggai 2 8 to 9 things are going to get better that's what it says the glory of the latter will begin to have the former so there are going to be significant and permanent changes that will take place after this shaking and my prayer is that it will be in the favor of you and i as children of god in the name of jesus in first samuel 17 the whole of first samuel 17 there was a shake in there. Goliath came and he was making noise. And according to 1 Samuel 17, 9 to 11, the NLT, both saw the king and the people of Israel were afraid and terribly shaken. Number one, shaken. Number two, when David threw the stone and Goliath fell, his falling, free fall, nine feet nine man, weighing about 270 kg with arm of our 63 kg, made a great fall when 300 kg plus hits the ground. So there was a physical shaking. Number three, when the Philistines saw that their champion was dead, there was a shaking again. They were emotionally shaking and they were afraid. Number four, there was a victorious shaking by the children of Israel because they saw that their oppressor and their tormentor had fallen. Every oppressor and tormentor before you will fall in the name of Jesus. Number five, there was a spiritual shaking which preceded the physical shaking that the israelites enjoyed number six there was a combination of both the physical and the spiritual shaking now it was david that enjoyed this first and then he transferred it on to the children of israel It's what i call a transferred shaking benefit that will be your testimony in jesus name when jesus died for us he transferred benefits to us the only people who may not enjoy this kind of change are those who don't make him their friend their ally in time of turbulence and trouble. In 1 Samuel 17, David did not just enjoy shaking in levels, he enjoyed a dimensional shift, a significant and a permanent change upon his life. He used to be a man running about in the bush after lions and bears, but he came to the palace and from the palace he became the king. I see somebody enjoying that same kind of shift in the name of jesus all you need to do is to make the lord of hosts your friend for life and your ally in the time of turbulence or shaking according to revelations 19 16 the same lord of hosts that spoke in Haggai 2 6 to 9 that we read he's the king of glory and his commonly accepted name is jesus if you will accept him today as lord and savior you will enjoy the benefits of this shaking in the name of jesus shall we pray Father, I thank you for your word. I ask, Lord, that if there are people who are listening to me, as I pray and I make the call, they will accept Jesus into their life. And as they do so, they will enjoy the benefits of shaking. In Jesus' name we pray. Thank you for listening. Please watch out for a word document that will contain prayer points that will accompany this. God bless you as you listen, pray, and you share it with others. Bye till I see you on Thursday. God bless.